Hello and good day everyone, my name is Sebastian and you are watching The Novice Prospect. Welcome back to 2022, A Space Engineer's Odyssey. Uh, it's my little nod to 2001, uh, Stanley like Kubrick film, Space Odyssey, brilliant piece of cinema. Anyways, let's jump in, no changes since yesterday, we're literally going to jump in and do what we said we were doing. Um, and one of the first things we'll is going to be yeah we're going to extend the mining a little bit um we're going to probably end up having to do a little bit more hand drilling um but yeah yeah this, this is fine um there's a few skip frames right now because of loading of the world i think yeah, maybe note to self uh next time just get the world loaded before you start streaming that, that would be helpful um gives me time to set up my steam control yeah all good i can see that no it's not a twitch chat this app is sometimes useless okay that's fine um give me yeah so i can see what's happening um anyway so i hope everyone had a good day and enjoyed themselves and so forth we're gonna, as I say, jump straight in as soon as the world is loaded. Um, should be any second now. I, I certainly hope so. Um, yeah, if there was someone in chat, I would obviously talk to you right now, but that is not a thing yet, so uh, it's fine. Come on. So, also, it would probably help myself if I can hear my sound, like, select the right output, is this, this doesn't seem, oh yeah, no, no, this is fine. Okay, so, what's the plan? Well, the plan, we've started that already sort of there, we're gonna try and fix, yeah, the, the well, not fix, but you know, get that miner together. Do I have it in the build planner? I, I, I don't even know. Uh, yeah, we do, okay. <clears throat> Let's see what components we can put in. Yeah, well, we've got nothing. And I imagine I have put them into production, right? I'm going to just check, but... As I say, I, I did predict that we might end up having to go hand mine a little bit more, but yeah, see that the, the items are there in production. No, like so, it doesn't matter, right? So we're going to need another bag or two of materials. So let's go. Oh, come on. I was trying to do a satisfactory thing there, and it just <laughs> it doesn't work like that. Um, different game. So, all good. And yeah, we're going to just extend this little cave that I've sort of made and, you know, clean up corners, things like that. Anything I see. I sort of like where this is sort of heading. And this is just me being a little bit German, trying to clean up as much as I can. Yeah, and then basically take these voxels away. Ah. And at the same time, over here, filling up our inventory. This, this seems fine. Oh, hey, picked up. And you. I see pop. But then again, it's not an engineering game if there's not parts flying about and resources flying about. I mean, <laughs> uh, I, oh yeah, of course we are. No, 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 that's good though. Uh, we want that. We want maybe another one. I, I think. I feel like one more inventory full is definitely a thing we should be having. Um, so let's go and just dump that straight in. Also, I, I want to see the whole attached. Yeah, and you do your thing. Awesome. Oh. Here we 
go and yeah again you know this is not the most enjoyable part and I, I did say yesterday I was going to fill up my uh, my <clears throat> bags but actually uh, we were busy today unfortunately with well not unfortunately we love our nephew um, looked after him but yeah so I sort of had forgot about that yesterday um, but yeah so here we are we'll have to do a bit of hand drilling it's, it is what it is. It's space engineers, come on. You're not doing space engineers right if you're not standing in a dark dank cave somewhere and drilling for more materials. Like that's at least my feeling of it. Um yeah yeah, yeah I, I I like this little well it's not a cave, but you know it's it's a beginning of a No, well, it is a cave technically, isn't it? Yeah. And then we're just going to go and hand this in right now. Because ultimately what I want to get at is... Um, where is it? Uh, I'll say don't. And let's jet back in, right? Uh, what we really want to get to is to probably find some proper resources, right? That, that's sort of my first thought of call. So we're going to start constructing a, a rover today. That's definitely going to have to be a thing. Um, and you can see the production is sort of running, running through, which is nice. I have a bad feeling. Okay. Back to the hole we go. Yep. This is a thing. And uh, where did I start here? And we're going to just go further in. No, 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 we're not drilling here. We're actually drilling something. Here. Come on. Yeah, yeah, I know. Full inventory. Well, we're gonna just. We're just gonna keep going. Yeah, as I say, we're just gonna go and sort of mess at us. I feel like that's probably the thing to do here right now. It's not like we've not got time now. We're here on the stream. We're not in a half hour video. We're, no, we've got time. I'm just careful when you deviate and you're not sort of leaving voxels hanging in the, in the air. It's like they might be little slivers, but if you run into them fast enough or, you know, Whatever the case may be with a, with a rover or spaceship, yeah, you, you can kill your whole grid with that. Um, so and that's not <laughs> that's not pleasant. So we're going to go and dump that in. What's the production? Yeah, I had a feeling this was going to be a thing. Okay, this is a fairly expensive part, the miner, especially when you're starting with only stone. But, you know, this is the start I chose, um, I would really want to take my time so people can actually follow along and see what's happened, why we're doing things, and how we're doing them. Yep, nice. Cool. You know, it's, it's all well and good saying, oh, go and find this, go and find that. Um, and this is actually not in any disrespect to other tutorial makers, please don't get this wrong. But, like, for myself, I am half colorblind, and I struggle to see anything. Like, even in, in spectator mode, looking at the, at the planet, I just, I, I don't see dark spots. I have to rely on the ore detector to do the work for me, you know. So, that is a thing, and this is why I'm taking my time. This is why I'm going through the steps the way I'm going through them, just so we can sort of understand how things are coming together. Um, let's see here. Well, now no, it's just steel plate. Now that that is a good thing, right? We should be in a very good position. Right, we're literally missing thirty steel plate 
for it to at least be functional. So, I'm just waiting on that coming in. And we know we need 25 more because we've just picked up five, but I am not. Yes, mistaken. See, I, I can do math. And we have 15. And of course we have. <sighs> Dear Hall, um, I'm going to visit you again. That's not the right hole for the right tool for the hole. Always got to use the right tool for the right job. Um, yeah, and I think we're digging a little bit more. It's fine because I wanted to expand this. Anyways, you know, so it's giving me the material I need at the same time, so it's not like I'm making a lot of bulk material that I don't know what to do with at the moment. And surely that will become a thing when we're doing, you know, bigger grids and, and, and all that. Um, right, let's go. We still... No, let's not be crouched. Thank you. And... I know I'm using a lot of hydrogen here, but I want to also power through it, you know, because these parts are just tremendously boring. So. But there we go, this is all looking fine. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just checking my third screen for my OBS stats and then keeping an eye on chat and... <laughs> Uh, on screen two, and then obviously main screen for all this. Yeah, yeah, it's it's all good. So we have, yeah, I know we're missing some steel plates still. But look at this, it's functional. Right now, I'm gonna take it. Um, we're gonna have to change this guy a little bit. Um, instead of one drill, okay, we're going to need a control panel. Okay, now we're gonna use a group. Because we have drill one and drill two, so to speak. First, we're gonna name them just drill, and then I'm gonna say these are drills, Z -Z. right? But group back here, then we're gonna point point at the button, say K. Now we're gonna go into the tab of groups. There's the drills. Oh, got the right click there to remove from toolbar, right? And then. Just drag the drills in there, again toggle block on off. The piston settings are still fine because it's still a single piston and we're gonna just drive it down exactly as is. Right? I want to make sure that when I attach the next piston that I have the clearance thereabouts for the, for the second drill to come in. Right? And then we're gonna drive it down and say fire. And you can see it's removing voxel because stuff has just disappeared here. Right, and, and this is what I'm aiming at. I don't want to damage anything while I'm driving it down. Even though it may look big enough, but I have a feeling if I do this more this way, then we'll have a higher likelihood of actually getting through it without having to repair stuff all the time. But you know, we're getting slowly now the material in at first. Um, we can, and I would like to, we're going to take uh, one of those pistons, right, and I'm, I'm going to put it in my build planner. Oh, apparently I can't. Okay, so another way of doing this, so when, when there's something still, you know, waiting, we could either cancel this, there's one way of doing this, or we can say, okay, no, what was this? Uh, this is a piston, right? Okay, cool. We're going to go and click on the one that we want. It's a one by one, and then we're going to just add to the build planner. Ooh, awesome. Okay. Um, I don't, yeah, it's going to try and come withdraw the other components now, which is great. Um, and we're going to be short of stuff, like, make no mistake. Um, but it's a start, right, and we, we should have, yeah, we've got computers, we have some steel plate. Um, and then we're going to just let him do his thing. And, you know, while he's running, 
we, we might as well just do maybe one or two more loads just to supplement base a little bit. Oh, wrong hot bar. Me. I, I don't know what I'm doing with this chamber yet. What I was looking for? Chamber. We will have to extend this. I, I don't like how this is... Well, it's fine here, so we can probably just... Right. Just take those two voxel pairs, uh, these voxel pairs away, basically. Yeah, that's a little bit far, but I, I don't rightly care. It's fine. Um, yeah, I've brought them out the same way. That's nice. And we can just basically come through here and just... Just raise the tunnel a little bit. And I feel this is the cleaner solution than coming in, in the, into the ground. Because the drill is actually fairly good if you sort of aim it at the right boxing pieces or, you know, or sometimes the lines as I do. And you can actually achieve fairly accurate uh, results. I'm, I'm not saying it's anything like the laser drill, the grief. That's a completely different matter altogether. Um, okay, now, now, now I'm going to have to be careful. Because otherwise we're going to run out of energy. And I, I don't actually know the effects fully, but I imagine a lot of stuff is going to stop working and, you know, just unpleasantness ensues. Let's not. And also, sorry, while we're here, just go and you fill that into there, please. And then we can go and fill up our inventory, like health, uh, and hydrogen, and all that, you know. And I am actually appreciating all the views and likes I'm getting on this series. You know, you know I'm just putting it out there. So thanks very much, guys. That is, <coughs> that is absolutely great. Um, I had a feeling this may be something good. Um, but, you know, again, it's something I enjoy. Like the other games as well. Um, but it's something that, it, yeah, you know, I can see now that it's sort of gone. It stopped, hasn't it? Like it, it feels like it has stopped. Okay, so cool. Bring it back up and stop the drills. Like there's nothing now that can damage them. And I'm gonna show you build vision again. And do other things, right? I, I want to really be point at the right part. So imagine you can get to access to that control panel, you can point your build vision and you can then um say here velocity. And just we're just gonna bump it up a bit, just to speed this up a bit, right? Oh, wrong button. That would have been just a right click, by the way, not escape. Um, and then the only thing we're gonna have to fix now is that speed again. But here's the thing, right? So first of all, inventory, just empty out. Just well, actually, give me everything we have. What the? We get this together, and how far? I will still sum off. Right. That's this 19 steel plate I had already on me. Like, I cannot believe I've done that. But, apparently it was all the steel plate. Right, okay, fine. It doesn't matter much. Nothing to me. Um, and what I'm going to do is we're going to just go and empty the little planner for a second. Right. Now comes the grindy part, and, and, and if I ground this, we would lose the drill just falling down, so we need to grind this one first. Order of operations is very, very important when we deal with block grinding, you know, especially in large connected grids. With, like, slopes, and that slopes are a nightmare for me, like, in terms of understanding it yet. It's, it's, but it's fine, I, I, so it's, it's fine. Um, Grind this guy down. Right, and then my intention is as follows. We are going to place, and I'm just going to place as much as I can in terms of outlines, and then, you know, yeah. 
what do you mean unable to play his piston? Oh, I think this needs welded up to a degree. I think. If I'm not mistaken, that is the error here. We're still oh, we're not aligned correctly, that's what it is. Right? So that's what I want. Right, and I'm going to be careful in here. Then the next part is simply to oh, drill. And I'm hoping I can get away with this. Just to do this and this, right? It, it's just functional. That's all I'm going to do. I'm, uh, 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 not going to do the thing. But I'm hoping that we have enough material to actually get everything kind of assembled. Maybe just short of, you know, nothing too bad, okay? Large steel tubes. Why? Steel plane. Steel plane. Oh, we're missing quite a few things here. Okay, give me. Make sure we have all the ingredients we saw I need to put this together, right? Also, okay, there's only one steel plate, we still have for that. Now give me as much as we can and see what we got. Nothing. 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 Something I right, okay. That would have been you. Yeah, you you were unfinished. Okay. So we're missing components and shift metal button. Yes, I know, I, I, I did pick this. I, I had a feeling I was hoping against all hope, but no. And uh, yeah, sure, I, I could cheat in some ingredients, but no. That is not the way of the novice. At least not on stream. Like, uh, it's different, as I say, when I, when I sandbox stuff and trying things out, you know. And yeah, of course, I'm going to do a lot of creative stuff, but on stream or during streams when I do anything for the series. No. Just it is, it's not a thing. It, it feels dishonest in every, every sense of the way. It, it seems I want to speak for like half an hour. Like I, I know I've done some but I don't like it. But again it does more not be happening. Just come back and grab more. Like, gives me an opportunity to flesh out the room. I need to stop doing that. I, I really, really, really need to stop doing that. Until I have a source of ice. Like, and like the biome isn't actually too. That we might find some underground. Right. Might be the operative word. Cool. Just say to myself, don't do that. Like, literally. Not ten seconds ago, I took those words. <sighs> Corner clean up if I can. Um, which direction we're gonna go? Yeah, no, I've, I feel actually I want to. Not every room has to be perfectly centered, like in terms of and entrances and that. No, oh, this this is fine. I like it, I like it. Come on. What are we drilling for? Let's go say we weren't drilling the Vox Lobs point now. You know, this is the thing, right? If you want level flooring, yeah, you're gonna have to crouch and be fairly low aimed. Like, this is not perfect. I've sort of want that up there. But to make the point, yeah, this is sort of the area you want to point at. And you want to feel yourself drop when you know you're actually dropping height. Like, this should probably be more like so. And then you get a feel for it very quickly, actually, when you move the remote. 
not something that takes down at the most, for sure. Inventory full. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I think actually we're gonna come sort of one out and then go to go to have, we, have we made a hole? Also be gathering material, but also laying out of her. Well, we're at it, you know, might as well. Maybe two more times, I, I don't know how much it is here. Also, leaving rocks on the ground is a good way to assess which way your room is sloping, by the way. But you can see we have a lot of blocks that have fell this way. Or rolled, probably, that way. Whereas they were all in that trench before. So, you know, I, I like that blocks here all behave according to gravity, that like unlike Minecraft, for example, where you can cut off a block completely from its surrounding it, it'll continue to exist ex exactly in that position. And it makes for good and, uh, and creative builds, you know, don't get me wrong, but it feels a little bit, huh? Um, Whereas the yeah, end space engineer, there's no such luxury. If you cut the wrong part or you, you drop something, yeah, it'll, it'll fall and it'll follow Newtonian gravity, as it were. Or I, I don't know if it's Einstein yet in this case. Like the implementation. Normally in game, in game engines, you, you, you tend to do it in Newtonian. You, you tend not to worry about space time constructs and things like that. Like, just a level of simulation that you just don't really need. So like for most purposes, Newtonian physics is actually accurate enough to describe everyday occurrences, let's say, right, like falling objects in, in free space and things like that. Uh, it's a fairly accurate description, uh, uh, fairly approximate description of what's happening. May not be as accurate as Einstein's uh, description, but you know, uh, the, the, the question is always 
do I need that level of accuracy? Do I need that level of precision? And the answer in most cases is actually no. Like when you're doing something like a game engine, no, no, no. You're just worrying about, okay, how heavy is the thing? Which trajectory is it gonna follow? Assuming there's another body somewhere close by, you know, with, with another mass X, you know, this is all you need to worry about. You don't need to worry about the curvature of space-time itself when you're doing stuff like that. It, nah. So, sorry, we, again, going off on an absolute ramble. Um, well, I'm just going to keep trying to put, oh wait, this is together, let's, let's just put this thing together, I really want to just function all. And then the rest of the material should be enough to some popped into existence and I was in the way. It's fine. They, I think they literally should be on their way now. Make sure. Hello, Clang. This right here, this, this is, this is, did you see guys? Did you guys see that? That was a visitation of Clang. Uh, he was reminding me of things. <laughs> Hello, I, I haven't forgotten about you, Clang, don't worry. I need to put this together first and then let's go and quickly fix. Watch my piston. I just for now, try on our tensor. That's... <laughs> Make sure it has a thing. Because <laughs> that was... Ooh. <laughs> right. Now, remember what we said yesterday in... Um... Oh, it wrote over the drill setup. Listen, I'm... Tarsus, I'm, I'm literally just starting out. I'm, I'm, I'm doing a sort of tutorial and in the series as well. Um, and moment I'm just trying to get enough material together to get a uh, what you call it uh, get a rover together so we can actually find metals like I, I am sick to my back teeth of uh, yeah of, of having to mine stone right so sorry on a tangent there well uh, uh, responding to, to chat as a matter of fact Remember what we said yesterday about the velocity when we're going into the ground? Well, we need to have that now because we have got two pistons, right? Um, and the other thing we might want to do... Oh, wrong button, okay. Is we might want to group those together, right? And I'm just going to call those drill pistons. Um, and then that's the two groups that we need, right? Um, drill pistons have a not put all of the drills are not... I've not joined them, have I? Oh yeah, because I had de deconstructed the whole thing. Remember, Sebastian? Remember what you did not five, maybe ten minutes ago? <laughs> um, so, there we go, right? Um, I'm now ready to set this up again. This should be good, but we can't rely on it. I, 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 we might as well just, right? So, wait, groups. That's the Pistons that I want on the up button to retract and on the down button I would like them to extend and then we're doing the drills on this guy where we're just saying hey turn them on and off and let her rip and you know actually Tarsus uh, suggestion is a good one so the next time when we build this out other this is when we add drill number three hopefully maybe I, I don't know um, I may how expensive is a piston well, uh, sorry a draw a draw is quite hyper expensive okay let's try and actually do the thing I said I was gonna do this episode we're gonna try and build a rover right so we're gonna need steel plate a lot of it too well when I say a lot it's it's not as bad as a big grid um, Let's have a look here. You, you, you're still doing a production. Well, actually, you're, you're done with it. Okay, cool. What's, what, you, what, what say you we won't finish off everything we sort of put together? Because we did 
collect the materials, we might as well make sure it's all properly built up. There's the steel tubes. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Just two seconds. Bear with me. And then we shall... Where, where is the... Oh no, that was it. And then... Finish off that. And there we go. And now let's go and pursue the energy. Actually, there is probably... This is probably faster. I, I actually don't know if it is. Oh yeah, it does seem faster to the energy. Right. And so, as I said, um, in the next iteration of that drill, yeah, we're going to use a rotor, right? Um, what that allows us to do is it allows us to actually rotate the whole thing at the same time uh, while we're drill drilling into the ground. Now, Tarsus, um, I'm going to just ask a question, I don't know if you're still there. What's the rotation rate? Like, how many meters a second do I need to turn that? Is there any... Or are we going to have to try and experiment and see if we invite Clang into the world. Um, anyways, what did I say? Steel plate. So, here. We're gonna just go and say, um, production. We've got 19. Yeah, that, that's not gonna be anywhere near enough. Let's say 100. No, I, I said 100, not 10. I, I always get those two wrong for some reason. Um, yeah, go make me steel plate. 0 0.02. Wow, okay. Okay. Um, well, why don't we actually go and do that? Like, let, let, let him go and do his thing right now. He's he's making the materials, right? Um, actually, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's, let's go and just go and grab a rotor. And it would have to be an advanced rotor, right? So a normal rotor won't let us allow, uh, won't allow us to pass part, uh, components to it, or any, you know, ingots, anything like that. So we're going to need an advanced rotor, that's for sure. So, and it's actually not that expensive. It really isn't. Right, go and grab the materials and make whatever you need. Right, and then we might not have the materials for the actual plate, but I'll do that when we get to it, right? I would like to make sure you guys are keeping going the new. Right, okay, I, I, I get it, yeah. Right, fair enough. Fair enough, I, I get it, Tarsus. Oh, thanks for that. Um, that's well appreciated. Um, I'm thinking we... Of course, large steel tubes. It, it, it's always something, you know. Um, but the reason we really, really, really need the rover, we need cobalt. It, it is really our next stepping stone, and without that, we're going to be stuck with this base for a while. Um, because our cobalt leads us to grids, grids leads us to more cargo containers. And now remember, the only reason we could build this one is because we ground down the spawn pod, right? Um, also might add a piston fix extension or to go out from the base basically extend it out from the base and then go down oh that's actually i like that and then i can do a full 360. yeah that's that's actually your tarsus is full of good ideas i, I like that <laughs> um yeah 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 absolutely i get what you mean that that is actually a good idea well you know what dear build planner was it piston yeah, one of those. Go and withdraw that too. All right? Did I? I have no clue if we just added that or if that was just the components. No, nah, we'll see. Um, so, everyone, stop. And yeah, no, we're not. We're, we're not going to do it that way. Just go and give me, please, the drill pistons, and just bring them up. Minus. Minus one. Oh. Minus one will do. We'll rip. Boom. Okay. Cool. So, we're going to need a new panel for that because the three button thing is not going to do us. Because we're going to obviously need something to extend the piston and then initiate the rotor as well. Um, but I like that. You know, added complexity and we, we, we can certainly show off how that would work. Um, if I can get it right. But I'm sure we'll get it. <laughs> 
Um, so first of all, you know the usual. Get... Ooh, hello. I I should have probably checked the inventory. Holy... Okay, yeah, that's nearly empty, but now I have a whole mess of stone there. How, how much of a mess? Oh, 20k. <laughs> okay. Um, excuse me while I... Oh, this, this is ugly now because I've got the ingredients in my... Right, okay. Build planner empty. Uh, we can shove some ingredients there, but we can shove them in there. And oh, oh, did I hurt myself? I, I don't know. With empty inventory, this goes a lot quicker. Um, this is another reason, again, why I said I was going to do a 10x inventory when I do this playthrough, because <laughs> otherwise it would have been just painful. Um, well, I'm actually excited because I have... Uh, my first life visitor interacting with me on stream. So yes, I am, and I am grateful for that, and yes, I am excited. And, you know, gives me more input, gives me ideas, it's always a good thing. Um, boom, get rid of that, and get rid of that. I'm also going to, going to want to change that pipe in there. Right, what I'm going to do is just Step that off, and then oh, now we have the ingredients for a piston already, like because we've just chopped off. And yeah, that looks about right. Then I would. I think. Um, give me. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly the right thing. And then a rotor. Now for that, I'm gonna need up the I need to pick up the ingredients. Do, we do do have them on the slot line. There we go. Give me, please. Yeah. Um, and I would like to make sure we are north aligned, if that makes sense. So, yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. Then I, I can sort of have a common reference, right? This may actually not be high enough. I've just had that thought. Because we're ironing and... Uh, well, actually, no, I can I can go with one piston just now. That's actually fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go with one piston just now, do the full 360, and then... And then come down and do it that way. Um, there you go, that's that part. And then, last but not least, one and a two. Nice. And yeah, that's not going to work. Well, actually, yeah, I can. We can extend it first, leave the drill running, come out, and then do the whole... Yep, 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 yep. Okay, cool. That seems fine to me. Oh, piston, then rotor. Oh, okay. Uh... Ah, stupid things. I forgot about them. Um... Oh, I forgot that. I, I, I knew there was two parts, I just thought I had aimed it. But I did not. Uh, did it, did it, so... Piston, okay, I, I don't understand why. Is there, is there a particular reason? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm more than happy to follow the advice if I'm... I'm sure you are probably more experienced in this than I am. <laughs> um, and then like so, and then we're gonna go and add the drill. Right, that right there looks to me like it should work. So let's go and start welding stuff together. And then we're gonna see obviously what other resources we're lacking. So put the plate together. Or the piston part, or the top piston part is what we're for. Oh, hello, Clang. I, I see you. And I acknowledge you. Right. I understand. So, Tarsus is saying, uh, for those that are not having the chat enabled, is that the rotor only spins the drills, not everything. So, it makes sense to basically do it in this order, yes. Have the rotor essentially as the last 
part before the actual drill comes together. Um, I'm going to put this drill in, and I know I've said I'll put a second one in, and we will. Just going to try and get as much of this that will do me just now. I want to have a actually look at it. Right, then there's the top piston part. Yeah, okay, so we're missing components there, that's fine. And I'm, I'm just gonna finish off what we have, might as well. You know, and, and you know, the reason I haven't actually done the rotor thing classes, you know, just to sort of, before you ask it, um, I haven't actually played with them yet. It just hasn't occurred to me. I, I was actually quite happy to have gotten this far and I had a, a rover in my first world. I was like, you know what? While the memory is fresh of all these sort of learning experiences, I'm going to take that opportunity and, yeah, share it. Oh, careful. And share it as an experience here on YouTube. So, awesome. We can withdraw everything for that. We're going to go and attach it. Right. And I know... There's stuff missing. Because we've just sort of... <laughs> yeah, we've, we've, we've deprived this guy. <laughs> it's it's fine. <laughs> um, no, not, not well again. And, oh, okay, well, we have quite a lot of stuff in stock. That's, that's really good. Right, I'm just curious, can I get this finished off? Oh, I, hate aiming. I hate aiming this. Yeah, okay. Give me those components again. I know that that was my fault. <laughs> um, I'm just go and grab it. Can I want oh, and large steel tubes? Are you kidding me? And I am hoping, I am praying that we are short possible. No, we are not. We have it. <laughs> yes. Thank goodness. Two more. Yes, okay. So we are now in a position where I can hook this thing up. I, 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 I like. Okay, now I need to carefully think about how I'm doing this. Um, actually, I like the idea of keeping this maybe... No. Okay. Uh, get. Can't do that. We need, we need more buttons. More buttons is the motto of the day. Uh, give me... Yeah, more drills. That's basically now the next step. Oh, uh, maybe want to try that one. I don't know. Um, so what do I need? I need one for extending out. Right. I need one for enabling the pistons. And instead of doing retract and reverse, uh, uh, retract and extend, we're going to just do a reverse on the pistons, right? So that saves us one button in each piston already. Um, so that's two, three, yeah, four buttons should be fine, actually. Like, I feel that should be... Really? This should be a quick production. Seriously, like... Or maybe... I don't know. Five buttons. Okay. What have I missed? I'm extending out, I'm extending down, I'm rotating. And I'm enabling one, two, three, yeah, that's four functions I have at the moment. Right. But we'll see. Um, I'm trying to put it together. And then, so, we want the panel first, I want to go and, well, there's no groups really, right? What I would maybe need to do, just for my own sanity, um, I'm going to call this piston drill, um, and drill extend, right? So I know this is actually for the drill, and this is actually to extend it out from the base. So that makes sense. 
for now and then obviously we're gonna group up once we have um drills you know the the oh, got the safe button um the good old grouping of that seems fine have i done dr two drills yeah um i don't know that i have the resources for third but i am tempted to do so oh i'll try it what do we have do we have something we're gonna want yeah I, I didn't think that was gonna work it's fine not too, because the next thing is actually going to clear that up. So, the first button, we're going to just literally, where's my group? I want to make sure that is always the first thing we do. Make sure those guys turn get turned on. Right. Then, we're going to go and say, extend. Right, I want that first to happen. Um, and just reverse and we need to fix speeds before I go and do anything um, and then once it's w went out basically the next one is to take the rotor now there's two ways of doing this and I, I don't like either of them so the, the we could either say, okay, the rotor is always going to turn unless I turn rotor lock on off. I don't exactly know how clang it is, but we're going to go with that because the other option is to turn the block off. And in my thinking, that would also stop any through flow, you know, flow through uh, rotor on off. Okay. Because I thought I would have thought that would have stopped the actual fluid flow of, of, of items. But cool, I'll, I'll take it. And then last but not least, we have the drill then, also we can just do a reverse, going down. Right? Now, speeds. Um, drills, we can actually leave both at the same value because they are separate from each other, but we can't do that here, which is fine. Okay. I understand. Where's... Excuse me? Oh, I'm looking at the wrong... It's not the drill. It's the pistons I'm looking at. You idiot. Sorry, I'm, I'm talking to myself <laughs> as well. Um, so at the moment, we're going with this, right? That's just for the pistons. And then the rotor um, also. Yeah, big nearly forgot that part. Please Clank, don't 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 kill me in my base. And then the velocity that, that was suggested to be 0 0.002 for the rotation. Okay. And that's it. That is basically all the setup we need. We we now have something that's yeah, it, it not just goes down, we are we're gonna actually go and just to go and do it. Drill on. And that's that's always a good thing, right? And then we're gonna say extend out of that way. And you can see it moving. And the reason I want this to go at the same speed as down is I don't want it to just get stuck on territory on terrain and break, right? We're just gonna let it do its thing. Okay, I, I like how this is going. This is looking nice. Um, and since that is running, okay, just like we have an inventory, we have nothing in production. I'm, I'm going to be really cheeky. I'm going to say go and make a thousand of those. Because if we remember from last episode, I have a build and repair. And build and repair can at least go and just weld this all together. Right, and I'm just going to place everything I have in, in there as well. That was like 77 steel plates. And yeah, off we go. And I like now that obviously this is going away from base. And then once it's done that full extension, I can then go down and rotate at the same time. Although, although this, this, uh, I'm, I'm going to be really tempting my fate here. And... I've got to turn the rotor on. I, 
I would, I would, I would, I would like to maybe stand. I know, I know everything's low at the moment. Um, yeah, indeed, we, we are turning. Now, I may have done something foolhardy and I'm going to drill it to my base. But, what we're going to see. <laughs> um, I'm hoping that by the time the piston is more extended and uh, these guys come around, it's sort of... <laughs> oh, this is so incredibly stupid as an idea, but it's it's fine. And, uh, gives me the material to the sides here as well, I, I, I like that. Um, but look at this, I, I like it, you know, we're getting... It's just getting built up, it's looking more like a base, a little bit, not just empty scaffolding. Yeah, great. Um, let me just check, I'm just checking on production, but yeah, we're still heftily making them, and they're being heftily used as well at the same time. <laughs> um, also, just because I, yeah, I'm gonna have to wait until Pilbara gets done with that, I think. <laughs> um, but, so, next thing would be the rover. Right. And, and he does, uh, okay, he just made up the road. Okay, okay, okay. Um, only so Tarsus, you know, I, I like getting advice. Um, there's always someone smarter out there. So be aware of that, guys. It's, it's a really important lesson in life. Uh, velocity. Let me just speed up. up. Alright, okay, so we, we want to basically get to here. But we, we don't want to just do it in one big go. So, whoa, 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 my zero is being stuck in it. Stupid. Okay, well, let's try go and just double off what we had before. And just sort of work our way up to the point one. And actually, yeah, that, that is... I had it at minus, didn't I? Well, it's done. Right. But we're going to let it basically just... I think it's fully extended, by the way. Like it, it looks like it's fully extended, which is nice. So I'm let it, gonna let it do a full rotation, but we're gonna work right now at increasing this, you know, ever so slightly, bit by bit. And you know, we, we could actually check how the rotor is liking this. You know, I, I, I put power. There's nothing indicating to me that it's not liking it, it's... Yeah, it seems fine. Okay, let's, let's just turn it up another notch. Where is it? Um, not the torque, velocity. Oh, yeah, um, controls head that, please. That's all. Yeah, just for my own sanity, I was making sure I was doing this right, right? <coughs> there we go. But yeah, this, oh, I, I can't do that because I forgot to be charged with everything. So. And I think I've run out of ice. Like, I am not even kidding, guys. I think it's actually happened. I think, yep. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, that's the thing. Jetpack is now not a thing. Like I, 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 I know I'm always tempted to use it, but I can't afford to. Yeah. Again, at the drilling down, am I gonna go at the 0.002? you know, go in order of magnitude slower than I was going down before. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm happy with it. I, th I think I'm gonna just be a little bit foolhardy. Like, I, f I feel we're more than halfway there. I think I'm gonna just tell it to just, just go there.
I, I like where this is going, it's, it's looking stable, it's not clangy, you know, it's not wobbling out of control. And, you know, there is a point to be made where we could probably start drilling down the now already. Just a lot slower than we were, at like, so I, I really need to go and take that piston drill, uh, the drill piston as it were, and I, I really think we're going to have to go with something like, let's say, order of magnitude slower. Otherwise, it's just gonna clang apart because we're, we're moving sideways as well as down. So you know, and I, th I think, like, as I say, I feel like I wanted to, to finish a full rotation. Like, I feel there's still. But I, I think we're going to just go on it. Do it. Just reverse that out as well. So we're drilling down at the same time as I will. Right. We're going now all in. We're moving at 0 0.004 meters. Drill's hurting. Oh yeah, drill hurts a lot. I know, I noticed. I mean, it's a big spinning mass of teeth and metal, so I would imagine it should hurt. <laughs> um, and it's the fact that I just kept standing next to it just to look at the rotation. <laughs> um, but no, I, I like where this is going. Um, we already burned through all the steel plate. Like, holy moly. Okay. No, we didn't. We are just lacking. Yeah. Okay, this is now just a matter of time um, and letting this guy do his thing. We could... I don't know if there's a benefit. I, I feel we could probably get away with trying... Let's go... Could we attach something? You know, something there. Like, let's let's see here. All right. Uh, more jetpacking. We do this badly. Not enough draw. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're, we're really lucky the components there for any of this. Because um, otherwise, I would have been actually tempted to maybe put another draw. Uh, okay, it is what it is, right? Um, Yeah, that's what I was thinking, putting one sort of there, on the opposite side. Um, although, this being the center, it's going to drill out everything around it. So no, what we really need is just extending out and then maybe going broader, you know, in the long run. But I, I feel like, so, no, no, just give me better of the skill play, please. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know, I know, dear base. Um, I'm gonna steal that one too. Just give me it. Uh, and the 25 is We really, really, really need to find better resources, more resources, so let's go and build a robot. And so there's many ways of doing this. The way I like to do this is actually try and build it a platform first that I'm going to attach pistons to. Um, for that away, go for that away. And that makes it nine along, and then comes a three, two, uh, Try something like this. And I am not a party builder, I build functional. As long as it moves and does the job I want it to do, I am happy with it. But yeah, so something like this basically, right? And then, I'm going to 
or do next is essentially uh, yeah, now now we're lacking really steel plating we're just gonna have to wait but so the next plan is that we're basically going to take one of these guys I mean, just you know, one of these guys you know a, a piston demonstrate right do something like so I'll attach it a little bit higher so there's gonna be a block there let's let's go and chop these off maybe at least lay it out so people can imagine what it's going to be um so I need another block oh no not that one not up there that was not what I wanted Give me a second here, and the reason I'm being fairly peculiar or particular about this is because I have done this one before and it sort of worked for me. Um, and I don't want to just go and take blueprints off the internet, you know, without actually understanding how to build a rover. Yeah, pretty it up later, maybe. Yeah, put some slope blocks on it to make it a bit streamlined, and I'm happy. <laughs> but basically, one of these in every corner, right? That we can get away with. I'm pretty sure, um, and then we're going to chop the landing gear off and basically put it on those pistons and work on it there. Um, that is sort of the plan. We're going to need resources. Resources are slowly but surely incoming. Um, and I, this, this this was a stupid idea, right? Dear built and repair, as, as much as I like showing you off and like using you, um, you are a little bit expensive for me. Again, wrong button. Whee! Um, let's go. So, we're gonna need more steel plate. We're going to need. Um, well, actually, just steel plate. Just to lay it out just now, we're gonna just. Just give me the scaffolding. Um, I have five on me, and we're gonna need, like, so much more, you don't believe. Uh, this is fine. We have four grids. Right, just... Right. This is just a me thing. Um, I'm sorry to distract you for a second. How much does it take? Four. I really, really should not do this. I, I really don't have the resources. And as a matter of fact, no, we're not. Because we need a car container on the ro rover. No, 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 bad idea. We need those four metal grids. It's the only ones we have. Um, yeah, but I, I like it so far. I would like to do a quick check, just because I'm curious how this guy is coping. It, it looks fine to me. It's still recharging. This is awesome. Like, uh, considering that we've actually drawn, that we're tra drawing a bit of power here from sort of everything. I really like that this is all sort of coming together. It's producing us resources. Um, but as I say, we're gonna have to ramp that up because I'm using a torch bright daylight. Um, because this this hunting for stone is just tedious, it's inefficient and it's not helping us. Um, okay, so instead of a thousand, make make a hundred. Give me five. This is fine. You and me, base. We're, we're gonna really have to work on our communication about resources. Uh, it's it's fine. We're getting there. Okay, and I'm just gonna flesh this out a little bit more. I have. Oh God. Is this me actually? I don't know if I'm gonna get away with it. It may be too close to the ground. Feel like chopping up the triangle landing gear again. I it's not one bit, so since we didn't build any of this all, you know, this is all just steel plate and okay. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Hey, you too. And what about you? Kick a bucket. So, landing gear. Okay. 
like that from the way. Get rid of that lamp. I was just building that. I was just building that basically to get to the... Was it building a brick out? No. So it, was, it was something. It was maybe the cockpit. I, I can't remember even. But there we go. Um, landing yet. Yeah, I, would, I would like to understand... No. change it, but I can't make it work so it comes closer to me. It's a small one we want. I know it's supposed to be control wheel, a little bit control on the wheel, but I just cannot get it to... Wait. This looks... I like it. Yes, I'll, I'll, I'll take it. I like it, I'll take it. I don't, I don't know if I need to weld this up, I, I always do when I build these. I don't, I don't know. Just have it, I suppose. So, what did we say? Uh, one, two, three, four out in each direction. Right. And then, th three, I said. Right. Yeah, that looks about right to me just now. I'm going to need blocks underneath as well for the wheel bases <clears throat> because I want them a little bit lower. Um, but yeah, let's <laughs> let's get there when we actually got the parts to build all that stuff. And just now, I'm just wanting this a little bit built out, put the pistons down and get them welded up. Get basically the initial structure welded up and And I need steel plate. Of course I need steel plate. What do you mean I don't have steel plate? We have still stuff in a boat. Yes. What do you mean I couldn't withdraw any steel plate? Are you kidding me right now? Uh, goodness. We need to move away from storm. It, it is so painful as well. I'm almost faster handling. But not really, in it because it give me time to actually do this stuff. Uh, yeah, one there, one there, and then last but not least, put that one there. And the hope is I can do this, this, that, and this, and then basically enclose it. Yeah, yeah, I know. Many more bits of steel plate. I, I'm making a sacrifice for the greater good. Uh, in the movie. <laughs> yeah, chop this all off as well. There is a uh, hot fuzz, by the way, just for those curious. Uh, this is a whole block as well, isn't it? Yeah, I'm too off. That's like 25 steel plate right there in each, so, yeah, they're coming with us just now. I, I sometimes go a little bit quiet, it's because I'm trying to focus. And, you know, at my age, it is sometimes a hard task to try and multitask. Stick that there, stick it. Don't know if that's gone. Um, and I will. I just feel safer welding it like that because I feel the pistons actually got something to push against. Um, it may just be a me thing. Maybe. Who knows? But yeah. I'm gonna go and get this welded together quickly. And then the next step is one little battery. Yeah, just to get it started. That's, that's all we're going to need to. We're going to build this robot in little stages, so it's, you know, and depending on what resources we have available, and may even end up going back into the hole for a quick run. But I mean, the thing is doing its thing, so I am hoping that I don't waste all my resources on 
built repairs <laughs> and frivolous things um, that we might actually have a rover by the end of today's episode. Right, here we go. Keep going. Right. I'm just going to say again, Tarsus, I really appreciate you popping in, taking the time even to help me out and, you know, giving a bit some advice and, and yeah, it's much appreciated. So, for a small streamer like myself, it's always, yeah, it's it's great when you have your first visit and you're like, whoa, wait, where did that come from? Well, um, I, I stream other stuff on Trovo, like my, my shorter series. Um, but it is always a pleasure. So, yeah. I'm gonna build the scaffolding, so to speak, first, and then I will put the pistons together at the end. <coughs> okay, we're gonna put the battery in, put a heat on this puppy. Right, and so for those that don't know, it's really handy to build that in the beginning a lot of small grid small grid because you're just spending one steel plate that's the steel plate you use to build the block and then you just weld that up to its full integrity so to speak right there's no extra costs invo uh, involved involved there um, and the same is true for most blocks available for small grids you know it's a lot cheaper and so to get you going with things like rovers and that you definitely want to stick to small grid for the beginning because otherwise you will be down in a dank hole for a long time. I already feel like I've been down in that hole for a long time. So, yeah, this is looking good. And when I say good again, you know, please people remember this is not about beauty, it is about function. It has to work. <laughs> right. Let's go and put everything else we have in there. Just uh, actually do the thing. Okay. Stick that one in there. And there. So we should now have four items in the belt queue, so to speak. And this looks good, like, this is... Is it turning? I... I I feel it stopped turning. I I need to. Oh my goodness! What did I do? I, I must have done something because I really really feel that the rotor is not doing. Unless we've done a full rotation. Oh no no! It's it's turning. It it we've done apparently a full rotation in that time. And you know that's great, we're just going to keep that going now. We know the piston isn't fully extended yet, so we've still got the resources to come. Now, this is great. Um, I did try this. We're going... Show me your production, please. Ignore that for now. Um, I'm going to let the refinery just accumulate a few bits there. Yeah, I, I didn't think I had anything in the refinery. No. Uh, sorry, in storage, that would help me here, but that's fine. So, I... Because, like, our biggest problem is... Why is there stone in the survival kit? Like... That should never have been a thing. That, that could have been a me thing, by the way. It, like, just... Don't judge me. Uh, I make mistakes. <laughs> I'm a noob. Um, but yeah, we're gonna have to put it in production anyways. It's, it's gonna have to ha be a thing. And then remember, we're doing cleanup of ingredients if we can. And grief is just moving very fast sometimes. Yeah, put them together, put them together, and put them together. Thank you. And actually, it looks... I think we might get away with that. Right. Everything together for at least the pistons. Um, we'll also try a small grid battery. 
Is that a small grid battery? Doesn't look like it. Uh, no, wait, there is a difference between a battery and a small battery. I think. I think that is a thing. Small. Yes, yes, indeed. It is indeed a, a, a different thing. That's why I was getting confused there. So, yeah, give me the components for that, please. That was quicker than I thought and surprising, but I'll take it. Um, just right there. But need power cells, and we'll, we'll deal with that in a second. Oh, oh. Sorry. Idiot! Give me all that, please. Because what I've just done is I've been performing some of this tool here to the battery. But, you know, mistakes were made. Of course you are. But I'm telling you, we are finishing this world. I, I don't care. You can leave me dying on the ground. I will finish it. Thank you. And, yeah. So, here's the thing. Recharge the suit again. And yeah, this, this, oh my goodness, this is so much slower in my feeling. Gimme, give gimme. Give Plus, I want to sit my aching bones down. There we go. Fantastic. So, what were we building? Yes, I a battery. You know, I full heartedly. And we're missing a few things. It's fine. We put them into production and we're gonna go and get up way and place that there and put what we have into it. What are we? Iron? Silicon nickel? There's nothing else outlandish here. Good roll. Yes, I appreciate your work, but unfortunately, I will have to go and dive down once more. I, I loathe. I am loath, loath, loath to do it. But here we go. It is a thing. Oh, oh, that's a nice surprise. I, I forgot about this stuff actually. <laughs> I'll take it. Um, this was a nice, pleasant visit to the hole. Ish. Uh, we'll go and give you that one too, and then we'll just go and take this up. Inventory. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I don't, don't care. It's, thank you. Can we base flat this voxel nicely? There's a dip there, which is fine. Okay, let's... Don't crouch, please. There is no need to crouch anymore. We have extended the hole a little bit. So, let's keep going here. Yeah, I, I, like, I like this so much. Like, Tarsus. <laughs> best suggestion of all day. Like, honestly, this... this yeah... I love it. It's it's great. I know it's not much, but you know, it's the little things that make a space engineer happy. <laughs> and yeah, go and just stick all that in there, please. Boom. So I'm just curiously going through my door here. Um, okay. So it's it's making the things. Um, and we're really not far off now. He says lying through his teeth, probably. Come on! It's just bits of iron, for goodness sakes. I just gave you a whole pile of... And, and yeah, of course, a, a solution may be to build another refinery and another assembler and all that good stuff. But, you know, I, I feel those little resources that we, at this point now, 
yeah, I, I need to be spending them and getting this guy running. So we can actually get the resources proper. Right out of their mine, out of their indigenous environment. Rip them out of the ground and, you know, all that good stuff. Um, can... The basic assembler is the survival kit. It's not doing anything. Like, I am thoroughly confused here. Why is this large grid ore detector? Uh, that would have to go through a rotor or something like that. Um, Actually, I'm normally actually happy to use a small ore grid detector and as a lot a small grid ore detector and just attach an antenna as well because we have the components still from the, the drop pod, so I might as well use those antenna components or those communication components and just build antenna and, and just drive around because you know it, I want to go exploring as well and this is just a starter base and the goal for the series ultimately is traveling to space we want to visit every single planet i want to have a base of sorts on every single planet and as an added challenge with breathable atmosphere so on planets where that is not a thing basically i have to make sure we're building air titan um so yeah air tightness is a thing in the safe game by the way but no oh, this is I already got me confused. I have components lined up for construction, right? And they literally just require a little bit of iron and I have all the iron there, but it's not pulling it through into the assembler. Why? Is it because it's full of gravel? And more to the point, what on earth do I do with all this gravel? Used in for crafting line items. Hey, this this is now the question. What do you do with this excess of gravel? Because I've, I think this is what's happening. Quite literally, the the assembler is full to the hilt of gravel, and it can't make anything else. Um, I mean, I can stick it in here. I'll at least continue production, but I need to find something. Allows me to use a lot of gravel, um, and so let's let's have a look here. Let's have a look. Is there something that uses gravel? I wonder. Uh, yeah, just ejected a gravel. Okay, okay, okay. So yeah, the, we're gonna get to another thing, and I've seen these actually build on other builds as it were, you know, as our ships and that. Um, we're going to need an ejector. Okay, I, I honestly was hoping there was a use for gravel, but Tarsus reliably informs me to just eject other stuff. <clears throat> okay, so that's what we shall do. So how are we going to do that? Fairly straightforward. We're going to go back to... Where is... Did we build a connector yet? No, we did not. So that is actually now our, our next big one so to speak <clears throat> um, and it's actually under conveyor cargo blocks and what we've got to do is you know again it's like this guy so we can actually just scroll through the block that we want so this is a collector you can just drop it on the on the ground say like like so right if I was to go up on the jetpack literally items that drop into the top here would just get put in, into it, whatever it has Attached. You get a connector that allows it to connect a rover, for example, to a static grid like this, or a ship, um, or even two static grids. Um, and then, what's the other one? There's a connector. Collect Is that a different block? Am I looking at the wrong thing here? It is an ejector block, right? And basically, what that does is. If I can find it. And it 
maybe a thing I don't have it yet. Like, it may actually be a thing. Let's let's check that. No, there it is. Check that. Oh, it's a small grip thing only. Right. I have reactor components. <laughs> yeah, I'm not anywhere near that. <laughs> For that, I would need to find uranium. Um, but no, I was actually thinking of like a mass use, like a. I mean, fair enough if you're talking reactor components. So let, let, let's have a look at that. So again, Tars has given a bit of advice here. Um, yeah, so there's the reactor components, and it needs 2,000 of them. So yeah, okay, I can, I can see why you would need a lot of gravel at some point. Hey, hello Marco. Welcome to the ch stream. Welcome to the Odyssey. <laughs> so yeah, I can see, you know, on a large reactor, you need 2,000 reactor components. They need gravel. Yeah. They already make sense. <laughs> uh, so, but cool. Um, let's. Where was I? Yes, ejectors. Now, um, a little bit of a challenge here, I think, because the only ejector in, that I can see and that I have access to, and there is no other one that I can see, um, it is actually small block. Oh, the small grid. So. We would need uh, yeah. What, what would I need? Like a rotor or something? Something that can uh, would we have to be an advanced rotor at that to pass parts through um, to then grind off the head and put a small head on it. Okay, so gonna teach you another guy, I think, guys. Right, many people will know this, but remember, this is a tutorial series as well. Um, so, if we remember, we have on our hotbar, we have this guy, right? And we're going to go and... Actually, we have another build in, in the making just now. Can I finish that? Just because build planner. Oh, hey, yeah, Marco, listen, I, I absolutely love this grinding... You know, or the grindiness of the part of, of having things to having to get things together and building from scratch. Um, and, and please remember, I've only played like well now we're talking probably 95, maybe 100 hours. But I am by no stretch of the imagine, uh, imagination a uh, professional. In this right, so I, I am still learning a lot. And like if you check the chat, actually Tarsus has been, <laughs> yeah, he, he he's been teaching me. It's good. I love it. You know. You can always, always learn something new every day. Anyways, we are building, as I said, a rotor first. Right, I'm going to need one of those. And then go and just make more of that stuff. And... Right, remember, I have no ice. Uh, okay. No. So... No, that's not the right rotation. That's not the right rotation either. I, that's the rotation I wanted, but, six. no, fuck it, six. um, give me two seconds, what is, it's home and end that I need now, yes, and that is north in front of me, so I need the 180 pointing towards me, today, right, but here's the thing, we are going to grind that bit off, but, there we go. And I'm gonna have to build that guy up first. And we'll have to actually cheese this a little bit. Well, not cheese it, um, but I'm gonna have to do something like so to even get there. Because literally ice is... I have none. And if I run off hydrogen, yeah, that's, that's gonna be a bad time. Because I want to have at least some hydrogen available if I need it. So, advanced rotor, and as far as I'm aware, this is the only way to connect large grid and small grid, except for maybe a hinge as well. Um, and that could have been actually the other option, I imagine. I, I should have actually thought. Build vision, please work for me.
it's my mouse, it's doing some funky because it's a trackball. And I use X mouse as well on this from the from a console. I wonder. So there is now it's this advanced rotor. I really, really, really should have named this one. You know, while we're at it. <laughs> and, and this is we're gonna just call this for the ejector. Oh ejector. Right. Um now we Yeah, it's a small head. Right. I think that is the thing I need to do. And now I can do the thing that Parsa suggested, where we're going to withdraw the components on. Not from a survival kit, Sebastian. What were you doing? Right. And we'll just go and make what's missing. Right. And then we're just gonna attach the ejector right there. Not like so. Yeah, like so. Boom. Right. Get it welded up. As much as possible, quickly. And no more hydrogen. All components are successfully withdrawn. And then I think I can just, yeah, we can just manage that from here, obviously. I should have access to this ejector. Oh, I, I forgot something. Like, um, it, it doesn't know what to eject. You know, we haven't actually done that part. This is, that, that is squarely on me. Like, that, that is a full on me thing. Um, what we need for that is... Do I have it somewhere in my quick bars or hot bars yet? No, I do not. Um, once I see it, it's a yeah small conveyor sorter we're gonna need for that. Right, and go and put those components into production, please. I really, ideally, would like this built now in one quick go because I have 25% hydrogen left. No, 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 no. We need to do this another way. Sorry guys, uh, going to have to do this thing where just, I don't, okay, no it's not even letting me do that, does it? Yeah, I didn't think it would let me do that, that would have been nice. But what, what I can do is I can this and another part. So, oh no 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 no! Oh crap! This is exactly what I needed. The last bit of hydrogen left. Like right. that is exactly the reason. If I fall down a hole or something, um, so I can place a block here. I would hope that should uh, not again, not again, please should get me close enough to weld that stuff up and grind it down and all that good stuff, so... You, with me. In a full lane. Awesome. Uh, no, I don't think we need an inertia tensor for that. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't really see that being a thing. But, so we need to attach a conveyor sorter and we need to point it, you know, into the block that we want to put the items into and away from the inventory that we're pulling, so to speak. That may, may, may make more sense. Eek. Okay. Another steel block is asked for. Right there. Oh, armor block, sorry. Um, well, that's the sort that we need now. The ejector that goes right there. Won't weld this up. Yes, we can. 
awesome. And then we get this stuff put together. And now we're good to go. And so the way this works, fairly straightforward. We go in here, we now tell need to tell the where is it? We have a sorter somewhere. Small conveyor sorter, right? This is where we start, and what we're going to do is we are going to do a whitelist, and we are literally just looking for gravel. Boom. We'll add it to that list. Okay. Um, drain all on. Right. We literally wanted to drain all the gravel it finds anywhere and attach conveyors or. Uh, inventories and just pull them out and then the ejector that is ejector 2 no longer um then gets told to is it collect all or throw out i would say throw out right and we should see if i had moved that block that would have probably helped yeah and there's now gravel being deposited into that nice yeah, a flat block. Yeah, I'd rather not have that block there. Just because. But yeah, so there we go. Whenever we make gravel, we just get rid of it and it doesn't clog up in our inventories. Tarses, yeah, again, thank you so much. That is another grateful, great tip. Um, not anywhere closer to building a rover, by the way, but yeah, we, we have done a lot for the base. And, well, look at that. We have pretty much reached the depth of the hole. I'm just going to let it finish a full rotation. You know, can't let it come full circle. Um, and then, I, I don't know if I want to go deeper or out. Like, another drill is fairly expensive. It should be a lot cheaper to just slap another piston on top of this. Right, for now, anyways. Just to get these two drills just digging into that same hole back down and then keep doing the rotation thing and yeah I feel like that is the thing to do there let's go and flesh out the rover just a little bit more right just so people can get an understanding of what my initial design or what I'm hoping is going to be some sort of design anyways um, is going to look like and all I'm needing right now is a free block somewhere and give me just a, a seed of something. No, no, not a passenger. I need something that I can actually sit and, and, and control things from. I like the control station. I like that. And of course it's not middle light. Ugh, who cares? I just need it for the pistons. It's not going to be the cockpit that actually goes on it long term. Um, that, yes. Put that into production, please. Did we get any of this, by the way? Nope, stop doing that, Sebastian. It's such a bad habit. It's fine when you have plenty of hydrogen, but when you don't, then you really, really need to not do that. <laughs> Um, right, come on. Okay, this is gonna be a bit of a bigger build, I think. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, ow! I may have picked something that is extraordinarily expensive. But we'll see. If we won't get it to functional, we'll need three more displays for that. That's actually not too bad. Like, that's not full integrity, but it's enough to. Get, okay, well, we got the whole thing. No. Don't. Should just rip the X button out for now. Yeah, just because. Right? I've got all the components, I might as well put them in. So, um, hot bar setup. Well, first. Piston. Control AC. Then mark them all. Uh, new naming. They're all going to be named that. And we're gonna call this the uh, main, main 
Maintenance. And I would I would like this uh, no point five is actually all right uh, might be a bit fast just minus point no we'll leave it just to see what happens and just because clang and yeah we're good make a hot bar go and give me that group please and say reverse that's all it needs to do then we hit V to get an external view. I would like to see this work and also before I do that because otherwise Clang will visit us and this is very important we have a landing gear now remember guys I, I showed you this last time when we when we were looking at this the first time we can't see it of course not oh, but we can see it sort of shimmering through it's green it's locked in right if, if we now extend the pistons it's literally gonna tear something apart in the grid and we don't want that so we'll Oh, it's the wrong button. We're gonna have to add that landing gear onto the quick bar and just say switch lock. Right. Another little thing, just because it's it's a thing, make sure you disable auto lock in this case. Auto lock is handy, don't get me wrong, but in this case you want to disable just in case the pistons are too slow or you know, something of that nature. But now we are ready. And boom, we have a working platform to Sebastian. Did you really go and do that, Sebastian? And I can I please get a hold of that cockpit somewhere? I did see it shining through somewhere. I knew I would do this by the way, just that this was a certainty. Just give me a block there. I don't, I don't care. I just need to get up to it. And it doesn't help when you're crouched either, you know, does it? Oh, no, 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 no. We're getting up. I don't like, no, we, I, I, I can't do that because I'm kind of... Sorry, mumbling to myself. It's fine. Happens all the time. Happens to the best of us. It's the first sign of insanity. There we go. Um... Well, I suppose I can just come down and quickly lock. Right, now we're locked in. Because I forgot something. Yeah, I can't even get to it. Right, the pistons don't have their feet. I think that's just going to have to be what it is. Right, I, I don't even care. Mucked a bit with this long enough. Right, come on. And let's go and try and lay out a little bit of the structure on this buggy. We're going to need steel plate. Because steel plate is always a thing. Uh, just... No, none. Just go and make a... I said a hundred and then I pushed the wrong button as I was doing it. Doesn't matter. Eh, I'll do it just now. Inventory, here it is. Give me all those. Steel plate. Fantastic. I want to build a bit more structure here. So, what I would like to do is... This is actually not the base level. This is actually where the wheels get attached. Right? And this right here is actually going to be the level oh, that we're building on. Um, and that would have been the block for the front, probably. But, who cares, right? I just want a normal block right there, and then we're going to go just along and just bring this along right here. Uh, that can stay just now, because that's obviously going to change that front section. We're going to have a cockpit there and all sorts. Um, But just to give it an, an, an idea of what I'm sort of trying to build here. And then I'll just put three more, uh, three batteries right there at the back. I sort of like that, you know. Um, 
and then the wheels so let's go and add wheels that, that would probably help right what type in today's atrocious um <clears throat> I, I like the off-road wheels from the uh wasteland dlc but you don't have to use them it again no functional difference right you can use any of these wheels just as well and they will they have the same cost and they will work just as well okay um I want the left on the left, like so. Alright. And then what I'm thinking... This is basically going to be the first set of wheels. Um, and then we're going to need now the other side. And make sure you're actually attaching left and right wheels to the correct side. And then also that the wheel is sort of, you know, attached at the bottom in relation to the suspension, right? That's that's sort of the two big ones. Wait, did I place that on the last block? I did, didn't I? Yes, I did. Right, that's fine. I'll grind that off, and then that basically would go there and say there right and i'm gonna come out to the front with that what have i done like this will never work i mean it, it would work but it would be awfully confusing I'm glad I noticed before chat told me. Right, that is the front. That is where the wheels are in relation to. So, of the left wheels goes onto the left side, gets turned that way. Yeah, th this is why it was all looking out of shape in that. I'm wondering. Honestly, I'm, I'm losing my freaking mind here. Oh. That way, right? And then that gets attached. I've done it again. I, uh, I've just attached left wheels to this. No! Yeah, a left wheel and another. No, right wheel, I'm sorry. They are right wheels. Okay, and then. The left wheel is on bar six and would go yeah no, not like that so it goes like this right okay and that is basically the start of the rover what do you mean with yellow on top what oh, what did i miss now? i'm just curious because tarsus has just mentioned something where he says yellow on top and i wonder if i've done wheels wrong and I may well have but to me it seems like the, the the suspension was supposed to be like the wheel was suspended from the bottom like, like so. ah yellow on top it's that yellow part I'm, I'm sure he's talking about like uh, inside the I, I, I don't know, to be honest. I think this looks right to me. Okay, I'm just going to start putting materials into this. If I can get it onto a wheel, or onto a set of wheels. Why did that just... Wait, that was a bit good. Um, if I can get it onto a set of wheels today, then I'm already a happy man. Yellow arrow, okay. Uh, I apparently don't be strong. So So like this.
I mean, obviously attached here on the side, but no, that doesn't look right. So there'd be no suspension leeway. There is electricity arrows on it, but they're warning signs. Now, as far as I'm aware, right, this yellow part that I'm looking at right now, this this curved part, that is what was meant to go to the top. Fuel low. Yeah. As I say, from from my understanding, it is this curved part. This well, like a cable looking or whatever, that is meant to be on top. That is sort of the alignment for the wheels. Right, and it's, it's worked for me so far. And uh, hello. Yes, I understand what's happening. But the good news is we can actually let it down. If I'm not mistaken, we can. Like, the wheels are attached. Like, there is nothing actually stopping us to do this. Right, and then hit P for parking. And if that is a terrible habit, please don't ever do that do that, what you really, really, really want to do is to grab your cockpit block and do a park on off on a block. Please, do yourself that favour because if you have attached grids and hit P, you will possibly detach a whole, yeah, the whole of rovers and ships and all that. Um, now, we have barely any energy and I would imagine nothing yet works because it's not put together, so we're going to turn it off right now, which is fine. We're just going to have to lift it up. Oh, handbrake. Actually, that is my... that's my bad. It's actually not handbrake that we want here. Right. What we apparently want is... No, sorry, it's not park, it's handbrake. Sorry, yes, Tarsus, you're absolutely right, it's actually what I was meaning. I... for goodness sakes. My brain is really not with it. You're absolutely right, it's handbrake, so very important. Right, again, let me iterate. The P button is meant for your parking brake, and it is very tempting for single grids. The minute you're attached to other grids, you really don't want to do this. What you want from the beginning, when you make a habit, you might as well build it right, you want a quick uh, quick bar slot set up for the handbrake from your cockpit. Because that way you can just hit one, and it will actually be al uh, allowing you to move, you know, like so. I am actually hitting one now, but the P button does come on, but it's not my doing, and it's not actually doing the whole, you know, disconnecting grids. Anyways, I digress. I really do digress. There is a few more things we're going to need on here. Yes, we have energy of sorts, but it's not regenerated. I mean, um, I'm going to carry a solar array around with me. Oh, Pardon me for that, guys. Um, that would probably in the beginning be the way to go, since I have no access to ice. Huh. Yeah, okay, so change of plans. Um, we, we are... As I say, this thing is going to be bigger. Um, there's going to be a, another set of wheels at the front and at the back. So it's going to be four each side, so to speak. Or four pairs, whichever way you want to look at it. Um, 
that's the first, then what I will have on here is at least a cargo container, I will have an ore detector, we will have an antenna on it, um, and definitely we need an H2O2 Jenny right behind the cockpit once it's getting placed. We would also probably want an H2 engine, a hydrogen engine, to go and regenerate energy more more efficiently than doing it via solar, right? But that is basically the initial rover layout. The rover is really just a means to find more material, right? Um, and then once we have a good, goodly amount of, say, iron and all that together, I will then build a quick little dirty little miner, atmospheric miner, in the next couple of, maybe not next stream, it'll probably be the stream after. Um, the next stream we're going to try and finish this monstrosity because we are actually getting to the wrapping up point, I am sorry to say. Um, but yeah, so we will have a plan on what's going to happen for next time we're going to finish off this rover. Let's love that I finally started. Make sure my build plan is empty. Good. Um, I would like to go and start saying, hey, we're going to need components for all these wheels. Let's go and get these together. It's not the actual wheels, it's the wheel bases I'm doing right now. Um, right. Components added. And just checking, yes, four wheel bases, two left, two right, today. See what we can withdraw. Yeah, a few bits. We'll put the rest into production. Um, and I am so delighted to see that we're literally just having sic uh, uh, silicon, iron, and nickel in our inventories, you know, and obviously components, and a pile of gravel that can just stay there for all I care. And I think the drill is actually about done with its full rotation, which is, again, this is, this is leading us up right to the next step. I'm going to go and get that retracted. Um, and I think I'm just going to attach another piston for now, just to go deeper. Just to make this whole particular, you know, just go down here, basically. Um, and, yeah, then basically go and add more drills. But I want sort of the, the next couple of iterations when we go in not to be just two drills. Um, but three and four, but I want them to not just go one length either, you know, one piston length. I want to be at least two, maybe three, see what we can build. So I may end up doing the depth first, basically, with the two drills, make a nice wee pilot hole, as it were, and then bring it back out and, yeah, then extend it with more drills. But, you know, that sort of thing for the next couple of episodes. I should have the components with me now, that's great. We will be building still a little bit, uh, I still have a little bit of time and I shall make use of it. But yeah, as I say, going and just getting stuck into this. And once we have an ore detector and, you know, antenna on this, we're going to be in a much better position to go and find the materials, mark them on the map, you know, GPS. Oh, I've done a stupid thing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, i done a boo-boo there. Um, it's fine though, so missing components there, missing components from there, missing components from there, there, there. This should be five pieces now, one, two, three, four, yes, five. Yeah, yeah I know my fuel is low. It's atrociously low. Um, and I am imagining that this production is not streamlined at all, as usual. Okay, we, we can just start withdrawing some of this already. I'm going to put this guy together here. So now we actually have suspension, as it were. No wheels, but that comes now. Right. 
function. Yeah, and then lacking components, obviously, still. They are in the making, it's fine. All components successfully destroyed. And so, if someone may ask, you know, why are you still going around when you know you've not got the components, you may actually still have other components that you can deposit into the build. <coughs> So say if I didn't have the large steel tube, uh, or say I had, um, well in this case I had the steel plane, but if you missed some you could actually say, well you know what, we're going to actually deposit whatever we do have into all the components. So it does pay to sometimes go around and just make sure you've deposited everything. Nice. Oh, there's a spike there. Right. And as far as I understand, right, I, I, I want to finish those two batteries off quickly. Go and make that stuff. Um, but as far as I'm aware, I can go and do the... No, no, no. Okay, um, this is actually not a problem, because we have the maintenance thing. That stop doing. Uh, F, not E. Um, so we'll have to lift it up for a second. Oh, it helps if you turn it on. Right, so go and extend these. Because now we're going to be choppity 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 chop this guy off. I would like to see if we can somehow get It's, it's fine. It's a thing for next time. Maybe. I'm, I'm gonna have to find a fix to get those properly welded up. Oh! That! That right there! Give me the large steel tube. So it's... There's a hitbox there. No, that's fine. I'll do it. Because I would like to add ma magnetic plates to these. Right. And it's just so that the rover doesn't slide away. There it is. Okay. Can we put that under production, please? More steel tubes, come on. Um, so, we should be able to finish these off. Right. Not mistaken. Oh, we, we had it. I was having hitboxes there. I should be able to now go and finish these off. Nice. Okay. Oh, really? Actually, yeah, I, I did need to do that for getting down there, that's why I was doing it, but I keep forgetting to undo it sort of thing. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't make I would want magnetic plates on all four pistons just so we can lock the vehicle into the ground as we're doing maintenance. But again, you know, that's something for next time. Not too worried about this right now. However, I believe I'm not totally mistaken. This this is drivable ish. No, it is not ready. It's it's not what I would really love, but it's it's a start. And we have a vehicle. And then with space you can brake. And then now I hit one for the handbrake. And I would like to put it up on its maintenance just, just because I, I like it. No, maybe. It does look a little bit clang. Let, let's maybe not do that. Just leave it in park. And handbrake, I mean, you know what I mean. And then we're going to turn it off, so we're not wasting yeah, energy. Critical. But yeah, there is the beginnings of a rover. It's not... Not doing what it's supposed to be doing yet, so... Still piece of missing. But, you know, for next time. Until then, thanks for watching. 
thanks for participating and everyone you know Tarsus especially for giving out all this advice that this was really great I brought my mining along quite a bit you know understanding this a lot better and yeah again thanks for watching please leave a like and subscribe um, if you like the content if you have any questions and comments you can also leave them down in the comment section down in the doobly-doo and until next time peace out